shake it up. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic food review just for you. I am in the great city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at a McDonald's because Paul from Critical Eats Japan, who lives in Japan, sent me the, this is the double cheeseburger seasoning. And so I zipped over to McDonald's as soon as I got it. Not as soon as I got it. Uh, our fries here in Canada are three three thirty five, dollars uh, three nineteen before taxes. I'm always going to try from now on to convert stuff for you. I'll either put it in the comment or in the video as a title. All right, so in, in Japan, you can get different flavors of seasoning. Uh, I've done a couple of these now. Uh, this is the double cheeseburger seasoning. And uh, you buy this, I guess, with your fries. And they give you a bag, a shake a shake it up kind of bag. And then you throw your fries in there. So grab, I think last time I tried it with a, a medium fry. Oh, we got a bonus. We got one bonus fry at the bottom of the bag. Oh, a fry. Mmm. Nice and hot. And a piece. Right there. So you throw your fries in. We'd love to shake your passion. Ooh la la. I'm loving it. It'd be kind of cool if there would be Japanese writing on it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't live there. All right. So I'm hoping there's a spot that we can open this easily. There we go. Nice. All right. Double cheeseburger seasoning. Mm, smells like, a, like an OXO cube. And pickles. It does. I'm gonna pour the whole thing in. Shake it up. I think we talked about this before. There's like certain states, uh, certain places in the world that do the seasoning, shake it up. So I remember getting some from a subscriber who lived in the States. So I'm not sure where he is from off the top of my head. All right. So there we go, all shook up. It's all shook up. Ooh. Check that out. Super close up. So they look, they've turned kind of orangey. I guess maybe because the, they probably put like seasonings in it like cheese and beef and pickle seasoning or something. I don't know, to make it like, taste like a double cheeseburger. Mmm, that's nice. I was a little worried there for a minute. I didn't want to taste too pickly. And I just finished shooting my uh, Thirsty Thursdays. So I can wash it down or something. I'm thinking about going to Japan. I think I've told a bunch of you. And it'd be great to try all these cool things in Japan. Just working out the details. Not sure when it can happen. Well, it's made the fries extra salty. I should have watched my last one, my last video, because I should have asked for fries with no salt. Wasn't thinking about it. And I forgot that happened. So I'm not going to blame the seasoning for being too salty because I have no idea. It's probably perfectly fine, but the fact that it's basically been double salted. I can't remember that now. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean for that to happen. But the flavors itself, I'm definitely getting that hint of um, pickles, cheese, Meat. I'm liking them a lot. Hmm. I'm trying to think if I'd ever. I'm the type of guy, if I'm sitting in McDonald's eating, 
I'll eat all my fries first, then my sandwich, and then finish off my pop as I walk out the door. That's kind of how, that's my order in which I eat at McDonald's. When I'm in my car, same thing, eat my fries first. But if I'm sitting in McDonald's, and somebody's sitting right across from me, a friend, a family member, a close acquaintance, and they have that little thing of ketchup, I will dip. If I rarely ever get ketchup, put it on my McDonald's fries. I like ketchup on other fries, but again, I have to be sitting in the restaurant. Mmm. Well, I enjoyed that a lot. I wish I didn't, or I wish I remembered about the whole salty situation. Because that it didn't kill it for me, but I, I know that, that that's a bit of an issue. Uh, a bit too salty for me. But uh, again, that was my fault. I'm not going to blame the seasoning. I've said it. It's over. All right, guys, on my rating scale, I'm gonna to have to give the double cheeseburger seasoning a would recommend. Uh, I wouldn't say it was a go out and get it now because I love the French fries without any seasoning on them. It's perfectly fine with just salt on it. The seasoning just changes it up a lot. So if you eat at McDonald's all the time and you want something a little bit different, try all the different seasonings if they're available in your area. But what I'd really like to do right now is thank Paul from Critical Eats Japan. Here's a link to his channel. This should also be a quick link to his channel in the description of this video. Go check them out. I'm hoping to go fly to Japan sometime soon or sometimes within the next six months. And uh, he said, come on over and we'll do some collabs together. Him and Eric Surf6. Uh, so look forward to that, guys. Thank you very much, Paul, for sending me stuff. You rock. And uh, your channel is amazing. I'm so glad that you're growing as fast as you are. So very, thank you very much. If you guys don't want to miss the next food review just for you, hit that subscribe button right around here. Click the notification bell. But if you want to show your support for me for doing these really cool reviews just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Kendomic product food review just for you. Kendomic out. Boop.